Hello, my name is Shin Kaigen, and this is the SOS Guide on Scarf. This build capitalizes on the power of Spitfire and Goop. Start by taking a point in Spitfire and overdrive this ability first. Spitfire's projectile speed is dependent on level, so you want to get this maxed ASAP to make it easier to land your ability. Afterwards, pick up points in Goop whenever possible. You can take a point in Dragon's Breath for the utility at 6, but personally, I prefer to skip it the majority of the time. Moving on to builds, pick up a crystal bit and two Halcyon potions to start. You want the most amount of damage you can early just in case there's a low level skirmish. Just make sure to watch your energy consumption. In the early game, work towards building an Eve of Harvest as soon as possible. You can see in this guide it has listed flares and scout traps as important purchases. This is because Scarf has no reliable escape skill and is very easily ganked, so make sure to protect yourself during this vulnerable phase of the game. Afterwards, try to finish an Evil Harvest, a Broken Myth, and a Reflex Block by no later than level 10. By now, you should have a huge spike in power thanks to having Overdrive, Spitfire, and Goop, so make sure to be aggressive during this time. If the game reaches late, you should work towards completing a Shatter Glass, a Clockwork, and turning your Reflex Block into an Aegis. Also consider replacing the Clockwork with another Shatter Glass if you want more damage, or an Evil Harvest for additional healing if desired. If the primary threat on an enemy team deals weapon damage and there aren't that many stuns, consider getting a metal jacket instead of an Aegis. Broken Myth is such a powerful item on Scarf due to how easy it is to stack on him. Landing a single Spitfire on an enemy will automatically grant him 3 stacks uh, thanks to his Fan the Flames perk. However, did you know that you can also just as easily stack it on turrets and Kraken? Just throw out a Spitfire before the fight starts and watch as the Broken Myth stacks climb. Spitfire isn't just a damaging spell, it's also very useful for checking if there's enemies in a bush. To do this, just shoot your Spitfire into a bush where you think the enemy hero might be. If it hits a hero, then it will make a very distinctive sound. Additionally, if you have a Broken Myth and you start to gain stacks, you will also know that you hit an enemy hero. Once Scarf has a Broken Myth, he can help take down Kraken before she even climbs out of the pit. To do this, drop a goop where Kraken would spawn around 1453. If you do it correctly, you'll be able to drop a second goop as Kraken is appearing. Then, light them both on fire using Spitfires. Afterwards, use your abilities in basic attack whenever possible and Kraken will be dead in no time. Scarf is a long range hero, but sometimes maintaining a good distance isn't always an option. In those cases, it might be best to stand on top of a burning goop pool. If the enemy is melee, they will have to be forced to fight you while standing on the fire. The damage that they will take will give you back life thanks to your evil harvest and potentially give you just enough to live through the team fight. Let's take a look at the team fight to better illustrate how to play Scarf. Before the fight begins, Scarf begins by poking down the enemy with Spitfire. While watching this, pay attention to the distance Scarf keeps from the enemy. Glaive has a large zone of control thanks to his afterburn ability, and an immobile character like Scarf needs to stay far away and take advantage of his longer range. When Glaive disappears into a bush, Scarf then uses a flare to make sure he can keep firing and applying pressure. Then, when Adagio takes a step too far forward, he capitalizes with a Spitfire Goop combo. Now at this point, Scarf has a clear path to Ringo, their primary damage dealer, and turns to focus attention on him and quickly takes him out, leaving only the injured Glaive to run away. Now let's replay the team fight so you can watch it in real time. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to see more like this in the future, make sure to like and subscribe. 
Also, stick around if you want to see some bonus footage of Scarf gameplay. I'll see you next time. Yeah.